How's it going here? Uh, uh, Night door here, Bob. I was just talking to uh, Flanker Tanker and just talking to Flanker Tanker and uh, letting him know how much I enjoy his. Uh, Uh, opening intro. And I just love that. It's a, it's a great intro. And there's a, a part on there that shows uh, shows a, a tank flying up off of a, a berm, a little hill, and it's briefly airborne before it hits the ground again. I was telling them that uh, when I was in the National Guard, uh, my guard unit uh, towards the end of uh, my career was a uh, tanker unit, and that uh, you know, we, and that uh, I commented that the, the M1 Abrams could get up to uh, 70 miles an hour when they had the governors taken off. Uh, in training, they have a governor for 30, 35 miles an hour, something like that, 30 miles an hour. But uh, wartime, they take the governor off and then get up to 70. And I made a comment about, you know, getting airborne. Uh, and uh, um, he mentioned it must have been a lot of fun. And uh, I got a story, not about driving it, the tank, but uh, before my unit was uh, a tanker unit, we originally were mechanized infantry. Uh, we uh, had uh, M901s. Uh, 901 is a uh, basically uh, armored personnel carrier that has uh, uh, tow missiles, tow missile rack on the top. And um, uh, we were uh, tow missile unit, basically an anti-tank, and um, uh, we were. And I was a driver, and we were out uh, at Camp Ripley and uh, running around uh, out on the trails, uh, out there training the way we were we would, and uh, we were coming up to. Uh, this little creek bed and um, uh, the commander, I mean, when, unless we had to be tactical, meaning all buttoned up, uh, the, the commander, you know, would uh, sit in his seat and his head would be popped out through the, the top of the 901 and uh, in the driver's hatch, my hatch would be open and my head would be sticking out in the top of the 901, it, well, in, in the front, bottom, of the 901, uh, um, and uh, the dry and the commander was his seat was uh, up in the air, uh, about two feet higher than me. Uh, so, uh, but these uh, the hatches uh, were really heavy, and uh, they locked in place so that they wouldn't, as you were driving along, bounce up and down on your head. <laughs> And uh, I recall uh, we had just, just I think we had just gotten back into the the 901, and um, uh, we were ready to go, and and uh, so I stepped on the gas and headed down into the you know into the creek bed and up the other side, and uh, uh, apparently the the, the Uh, lieutenant didn't have his uh, his hatch uh, uh, locked in place, and I, I went down in the creek the creek bed and up the other side, and it slammed him in the back of the head. Which, it, I mean, it, it, he was wearing a helmet, you know, and it it could have been a bad injury, but it wasn't. But I uh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't stop laughing. I, I start when I when I found out I didn't know initially what happened, and, and when because you know you, you you 
when it, it, it's a very loud uh, driving one of these things and you you're you're not really aware of what's going on around you and then when somebody told me on the radio that uh, uh, he got hit in the back of the head with it with his uh, hatch uh, uh, I, I couldn't stop laughing. I was laughing hysterically. I just couldn't stop. It, it was like it just struck me like something that happened out of a sitcom on TV, <laughs> you know. And uh, 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 I mean, I got in trouble for laughing. I got in trouble for driving too fast. You know, it was all my fault. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just hysterically funny. I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> and, uh, so. But I guess uh, uh, I guess others don't always see the humor in it when they get hurt, right? <laughs> uh, but it wasn't a serious injury, so it was realistically funny. And another couple funny things happened at summer camp. Um, uh, another sergeant uh, was really thirsty and was taking a drink out of what he thought was a water buffalo. A water buffalo is a, uh, a large... Uh, I think it's 500 gallon, I think, uh, tank on wheels that gets pulled behind another vehicle, and you get your water out of them. Uh, and, but he had, but he took a drink out of one that was in the process of being cleaned, so it was filled with chlorine, and he, you know, starts spitting it out right away. And again, it wasn't a serious injury. You know, he started spit, he spit it out before any harm could come to him. But again, I started laughing hysterically. I couldn't stop. It was just the, the funniest damn thing. You know, it was like watching somebody again on a sitcom. You, you couldn't have written a story and filmed it any better. It just it came off so his, it was so funny. And of course, I got yelled at for laughing again. You know, but it was just you know. And uh, it, let's see, another funny story. Um, we had this lieutenant that was a real, you know, just a real schmuck. I mean, he didn't know what the hell he was doing. Uh, he he was just, you know, as we would say in the army, just really all ate up. I mean, he he just had his head up his ass. And uh, so he, uh, at one time, uh, somebody had uh, he he left his helmet sitting somewhere, and one of the guys. Uh, had actually taken a crap inside his helmet. So when he came back to find his helmet, uh, he found it was full of shit. <laughs> and uh, uh, that was fun. And so we got called, we got, you know, uh, called into a kind of a loose formation. We weren't standing at a tent, we were in a circle, and uh, with the, and the, M, and the M901s were all surrounding, you know, and he was in the center yelling and screaming, wanting to know who shit in his helmet. And, uh, uh, but nobody said anything. And then when he had his back turned, somebody hit him in the back of the head with an apple. <laughs> I mean, this guy was just not well liked and he was just a, such a total and complete schmuck. Uh, but eventually he found out who did it. And uh, the guy the guy that did it ended up uh, having to dig, dig a latrine. <laughs> It was just the, the, yeah, so the, the whole summer was kind of fucked up, <laughs> and, uh, it was just, it, it was just, it, all this happened, like, in one year, it was just, like, one, one fuck up after another, it was just the funniest thing, so, your National Guard, hard at work, <laughs> take care, everybody, uh, may your roads be smooth, chicken house is closed, and may your pipe never run empty, God bless. I forgot to ask. Now let me turn that down. I'm watching the replacements. <laughs> uh, I forgot to ask. Uh, has anybody heard anything about Dan, Old Northern Smokey? Uh, I would really, really like to know what's going on with him. But he took his channels down, and I haven't heard anything for uh, for a little bit. And uh, I was wondering if anybody out there has heard anything. Uh, I'd like to know what's how's he doing, how's he making out. So if anybody knows, uh, you know, post it on the comments uh, and let me know. Uh, okay, well, take care.